ഹായ് ഓൾ വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ ചാനൽ പേ സ്ലിപ്പ് ഓൾ സാലറി സ്ലിപ്പ് പ്ലീസ് ആൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് റോൾ ഇൻ ബിസിനസ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കൺസിഡേർഡ് ആസ് എ ലീഗൽ പ്രൂഫ് ഓഫ് ഇൻകം ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് ഓൾ ദ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഓൺ ദി എംപ്ലോയീസ് സാലറി ഓൾ ഓഫ് ദ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ആൻഡ് ദി എമൗണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് മേക്ക് ഓഫ് ദി എംപ്ലോയീസ് സാലറി വിൽ ബി ലിസ്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദി സ്ലിപ്പ് പേ സ്ലിപ്പ് ഈസ് എ ക്രൂഷ്യൽ ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എസെൻഷ്യൽ ഫോർ ഡിഫൈനിങ് ദി ടാക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻ ദാറ്റ് ആൻ എംപ്ലോയി ഹാസ് ടു പേ ഇൻകം ടാക്സ് and the document is essential for the employees to apply for a loan and it can be used to apply for the mortgages the document can be used as a back support for negotiating a better salary if the employee is looking for better opportunities it is often common for the hr of the new company to ask for the pay slip from the employee to finalize the salary package of the employee the salary slips are important documents that have legal rights of their own and the employee can use the pay slip as a proof of their salary scheme and payment details and it make it easy to track the tax accounts and other deduction from the salary so today in this video we will give you a detailed note on how to create and manage pay slip with odo 15 payroll module so first we can go to the payroll module and then to the configuration here we can see the option structure type So if you are creating a new contract with a newly recruited employee it is fundamental to define the salary structure type in the contract using the odo payroll system you can easily configure the salary structure type for the employees trainees and the workers by clearly defining the wage type on either a monthly fixed or a hourly basis so the salary structure uh, structure type menu available here will provide all the details regarding structure type default schedule pay default working hours wage type and the regular pay structure so to get a detailed view on it you can just click on the respective one so here we can see the structure type as employee and here we have the option to choose the country and here we can choose the wage type like monthly fixed wage or hourly wage and here we can choose the default schedule pay as monthly quarterly semi annually annually weekly bi weekly or my bi monthly and here we can choose the default working hours from the drop down menu so it can be set as standard 40 hours work 35 hours work 38 hours work etc and by clicking on the external link you will get the details regarding it and here we can choose the regular pay structure as regular pay or 13th month end of the year bonus and also you can choose the default work and retype from the drop down menu in the top right corner you can see a smart tab that is structure so it is possible to configure the structure directly from here or when we comes to the configuration here we can see the option structures So the salary structures are the necessary aspect for determining each employee salary based on their job position and creating a pay slip for every payroll. It can be defined as the collection of set of rules that will be very helpful for calculating the pay slip. So a single salary structure can be used for a whole department or other group. So here we can see the main salary rules and the country. Now let's create a new salary structure type for that create on the create icon. Here we can provide the structure name. A regular pay. And here we can choose the uh, type like employee or worker. So we can choose the work and here we can enable or disable the use workday lines option then here we can specify the country and here we can provide the report as pay slip pay slip double holidays for 13th month termination termination holidays current year or termination holidays previous year so we can uh, make the report as pay slip and here we can choose the scheduled pay as monthly quarterly semi annually annually weekly bi weekly or bi monthly salary rules for the operations can be described on the basis of allocations required here 
Moreover, the unpaid work entry times can be added to the new salary structure using the add a line option available here. So it can be choose from here. And also the other input description can be defined under the other input tab. So while clicking on the add a line, we will get a box like this and here from here we can choose the other input type. So after providing all the details, you can click on the save button to save the details. So here we can see the newly created salary structure. Now let's move on to the salary rules. Creating and maintaining a salary structure is crucial for any organization. Planning ahead, setting rules and conditions and fixing a reliable salary for employees are essential for the effective management of an organization. The Odoo payroll management system helps to define salary rules in a vision manner. And this set of rules will help to determine the calculation of salary amounts for different categories. This feature allows to define the sequence of the rule for displaying on the payslip and it will enable to specify a unique code that will be helpful for further calculations. So here we can see the name, code and the category part now. So while clicking on the respective one, can view the details. So here we can see the rule name as, a rule name as basic salary. And here we can choose the category like basic, elements, gross, detection, net, company, part partition, gross, etc. So it, uh, it is also possible to create a new category from here. And here we can provide a code for the salary rule that is basic. And here we can choose the salary structure like worker pay, regular pay, 30th month end of the year bonus. And here we can set the sequence number and also can uh, enable the active that means uh, the rule name will be active and when we comes to the general tab we can set the condition based on always true range and python expression and the computation amount type can be choose as a percentage fixed amount python code so here it is uh, chosen as python code and here we can see the python code here and also you can choose the company contribution partner from the drop down menu. Here we can provide the description about the salary rule. And here in the accounting feature, you can uh, give the details about debit card, credit account, analytic account, and also you can enable or disable the not computed in net accountability. So if you want to create new salary rules, you can click on the create icon and can provide all the details that is needed. Now let's check it out how to create and manage Paisley with Odoo 15 payroll module. So here we can see the payslip operations like to pay all payslips and batches. So to understand how payslip work in the Odoo, we should have to go through each of these options. So first we can choose the to pay option. So here we can uh, see that the list of all the payslip to be paid. So we can create a new one. And here we can choose the employee's name. So the contract details will be added here automatically. And here we can set the period and also you can set the batch here. Here we have the option to choose the structure type like regular pay, worker pay, 30th month of end of the year bonus. And also you can start typing new structure type here. So here we can choose the regular pay. Here in the work days and input tab, it will be ordered uh, automatically added by setting the structure type likewise uh, the salary computation will be added by clicking the compute sheet option available here so here we can see that the details have been added here and in the other info tab the payslip name and the company will be automatically filled and can use the additional options for more configuration on the payslip so from the drop down menu, we can change the company and here we have the option to enable the has negative net to report and also you can see the option to enable the made payment order. Here we can set the date account and here we have the option to configure the salaries. So while clicking on it, we will be directly added to a new page and here we have the option to configure it. So if you want to create a new one, you can just click on create and can provide all the details that needed. 
now we can create a new draft entry for that can click on the button so confirmation window will appear and can click on ok and here we have the create payment report option so you can choose that so here in this pop-up window we can provide the bank journal so while uh, clicking on the external link you can see all the details regarding that bank journal so here we can choose the type like sales purchase cash bank and miscellaneous and here we have the option to change the company and in the journal entries tab we can uh, provide all the details regarding the accounting information here we can see the payment methods here we can see the outgoing payment methods and here in the advanced settings tab we can provide the control access access details like allowed account types and allowed accounts so we can uh, provide the bank journal and can uh, confirm it then we can go to the all payslips so the processed payslip will be listed in the all payslip tab so you can click on it and the payslip will be open up So this is how we create the payslip for the employees. So with the help of order 15 payroll module, we can also create payslip as batches. For this, we can go to the payslip tab and choose the batches option. And here we have the option to create it. So here we can provide the batch name. And here we can provide the period. And also here we have the option to enable the credit note. So we can save this and here we can see the generate payslip option so click on that. So the page for configuring the batch payment will be open here. So here we can select the salary structure from the drop down menu. Uh, likewise we can choose the department from here. So here we can see the employee details like employee name, work email and the department. And it is also possible to remove the employee by clicking on here. So we can click on the generate button to generate the payslips. So a page with the newly created batch will open here. So this is how we create and manage the payslip with Odo 15 payroll module. So the modules are highly integrated into the HR management application of Odo giving you instant access to the employees easily. So the payslip feature in the module is highly convenient to use and easy to manage. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.